My advice for young people who are contemplating a career in the marine industry is to think hard about what they'd like to do. And to begin with, it may not be clear what they want to do. And what they should do is talk to people like me, um, <clears throat> people that work on the river. Register their interest on, uh, on the site as soon as possible. Um, look at researching what companies are going to be employed on, uh, are going to be offering employment on there. Look, look at what the basic skills that are required for entry into those jobs and then look at how you can actually gain those skills. Somebody um, entering now um, will be able to progress up either through perhaps what I could call the deck officer route, um, which, which is um, going to be controlling the ships and the traffic on the Thames, but they can also go into either an engineering route or an electrotechnical route because um, technology is going to play a massive part in avoiding collisions and safety on, on the river. So we're very, very keen that we attract new entrants who could be from uh, different industries, they could be from different parts of the UK, they could be people who, who haven't actually had an experience of working on the river or in maritime but are, are keen to do so. So we, we are very keen to attract new blood, new entrants into our project. The Boatmaster's licence is, um, is the primary licence that we operate on the River Thames and there are several endorsements around uh, the separate uh, modules that, that form part of that licence, so things like towing and pushing which lets you drive a tug and a barge, things like cargo which lets you go on to uh, a motorised vessel such as the ones that I operate, um, there's fuel endorsements and, and, and uh, many more endorsements which uh, can, can all be looked up on the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency's website. People looking for, for work within the commercial catching sector, the fishing sector, then they would need to have uh, mainly practical skills um, and also boat handling qualifications um, and would you know, be well advised to um, decide on the sector of industry they would be interested in and then try and you know, maybe even just voluntarily get some ex work experience in that sector. Get out on the river, expose yourself to the river community, have a look, have a feel, try and immerse yourself in the situation and try and think, this, is this me? Get connected and be a part of this exciting project. So it's about registering their interest with us and it's about finding out about the marine opportunities as and when they arise.